Hello everybody, this is Vincent Frey for Foldable News at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Yesterday we saw the announcement by Huawei of their foldable smartphone slash tablet and earlier this week Samsung also introduced their Galaxy Fold. Today we're going to see what the other manufacturers have in the pipeline in terms of foldable phones. Some of them prototypes, some of them almost ready for launch. And we're talking to companies like TCL, who have very interesting devices coming up, Energizer, and also Xiaomi. Let's see what they have. TCL is a Chinese display manufacturer, but they also own the Alcatel and Blackberry brands. They showed several foldable displays and phone prototypes. Our main, our main uh, problem at the beginning was the how to AMOLED displays be flexible. Uh, it, with our technology it is possible now. Uh, we have our company, belongs to TCL, CSOD, that we have this possibility to have a housing plastic on the AMOLED in order to be able to make it flexible. Are there any plans to, uh, to bring out Alcatel or Blackberry phones with these kind of foldable displays? Uh, for the Alcatel is the entry uh, level the smartphones, it will be for the high level products. It will be for the future. Yeah, so how far in the future? Uh, not before 2020. Uh, it will depend on, because uh, TCL doesn't want to be the first one just launching this kind of uh, product, but be sure that we have the good solution for the, for the users. Energizer is best known for its high-capacity batteries, also used in their branded smartphones. They're working on a foldable phone with dual display that unfolds into an 8-inch tablet. Yeah, this is a PowerMax P8100S. This is the first uh, portable uh, for us, uh, two-in-one phone and tablet. So this is the first one we have. We'll have the biggest battery in the world, so 10,000 uh, m uh, megaampere. So with the far charger USB-S, uh, it's a phone and tab in same time with 6 inch when it's closed and uh, when we open it will be 8.1 uh, inch. It will be all uh, full HDA plus uh, screen. Uh, for cam we also add uh, more more features, so it will be 48 plus 12, 12 MP uh, for rear and front 24 MP. And this is just a mock-up now? Yes, this is a mock-up now, yeah. Uh, and when do you expect this to be a real device? Yeah, uh, we will have the working device uh, sample by uh, next month and it will be launched in the market, in the global market, by uh, quarter four. Fourth quarter yeah. of this year? Yes. Do you have any idea about the pricing? It will be around $799. That will be very yeah. competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we are targeting very aggressive price and uh, we would like to show our customer that they can buy big brands with very good price. If Energizer can really make this happen for that price remains to be seen. They don't have a very big track record yet. We'll have to wait and see. Xiaomi on the other hand have shown an actual working foldable phone in a video that went viral on the internet. But to the surprise of many it didn't bring it to Mobile World. So um, you made this incredible video that went viral on the internet about your foldable phone, but you didn't show it here in Barcelona. Why not? Uh, because you know, so far this uh, foldable phone we made is just a prototype. We're trying to improve it to make it like you know cater to the best user experience. So that's why we did not show this time because we do not actually want to rush it to the market and we have to be responsible for the users and as well as their experience and I think that's a really key thing from our side. You chose at least in this prototype for a, a, a dual hinge folding device, why, why is that? Um, because you know I, I think it uh, caters to a lot of needs and the demands of the users because like you know double fold is actually offers you a lot of possibilities be it watching TV or film or you know chatting with the friends or playing games so it's actually you know a, a mix of everything uh, phones has gotten a, have gotten a bit boring over the past five years they're all basically flat black slabs 
uh, same for form factor. Does, does the, 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 the foldable phone allow more experimentation, more creativity again with, with the form factor? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. But, you know, I think the smartphone industry right now is like, you know, everyone's trying to be more innovative. I think it's a good thing. You know, it always, you know, aim, aims to offer the best of products to the users. I think the users are actually the ones who benefit from this. So we wouldn't say, you know, we wouldn't say this is good or bad, or we wouldn't say this is, you know, people are getting bored about this. It's just like something new, and that's it. Samsung introduced their Galaxy Fold last week and was showing it also in Barcelona. A new video released today shows the user experience of this groundbreaking device. Research shows that a lot of people are using more visual content. So Netflix on the go, um, YouTube videos, sorts like that. Um, and a screen of this size is perfect for this content use usage. Also for business applications like a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, it's not yeah. easy on a large it's, screen? Yes, because um, you can open up uh, to three apps on the big screen. So you can multitask, uh, you can for instance, type your email, but at the same time, you can also watch content from another website. So you can open up until three applications, which is, um, uh, which is ideal. What is uh, the future for foldable phones at Samsung? Are you uh, uh, excited about your concept? Are you going to bring more? Yes, we're very excited. Actually, this is our 10th year anniversary of Galaxy. So 10 years ago, we've uh, launched our very first Galaxy phone. Um, now we're celebrating and we're also looking forward with the Galaxy Fold. So I think it's a little sneak preview of what's going to come in, uh, in the near future from Samsung.